It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a beer from Ballistic Beer Company. And this is their HBC 630 West Coast IPA. It's a 60 IBU, 6% ABV, 375 milliliter can of authentic Australian craft beer. <laughs> so um, there's a little look at the can. It's made its way all the way to the UK in a tube from the fantastic Mick from Australia. Thank you very much, Mick. And um, without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Little bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. We got a two to three finger white head. Good levels of carbonation. On the glass, there's a slight haze in there, but it looks wonderful. That beer looks absolutely wonderful, it really does. Let's get the aroma. Golden amber color, first of all, with a nice two finger white head. Great rolling carbonation. This glass does have a widget. You can see there's a widget here on the bottom of the glass. But without further ado, let's get the aroma then on the beer. Picked up a bit of wheat. Bit of wheat, bit of biscuit malt. Slight aroma of the wort. Unbelievably, unbelievably, a little bit of that kind of wort, warm wort that, that comes through. If you've ever been to a brewery, or if you ever go to a brewery, you, you know, you book the trip to a brewery, ask to have a glass of warm wort if the brewer is at that stage of the brewing process. You'd have to be incredibly lucky, but um, if you get the chance, try some warm wort in a glass. It's unbelievable, brilliant. Lots of hops, grapefruit, orange peel. Fleshy blood orange. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Really good. Really, really good. It, it was that good that I lost my trail of thought for a second. And that sometimes happens in my beer reviews. I lose my trail of thought because I've gone, oh, this, this beer is amazing. And then all of a sudden I'm thinking about the beer and, and I'm like, oh, actually, hang on, get back. We're doing a beer review. So great beers do that. Great beers do that where you kind of just lose yourself. Lose yourself in the moment of fantastic beer. That's what just happened to me. Rewind 15 seconds and have a look. It's a lovely balance of the beer. It's citrusy, zesty, sweet, malty, wheaty, biscuity, just, just yummy beer. Yummy beer, love it.
there's something in in this beer that is incredibly daydreamy. It's incredibly daydreamy. It's just I, I don't think in in a beer review in seven thousand two hundred beers that we've currently done as of August twenty twenty one that I've ever been in more of a kind of a daydreamy kind of state from a beer from a beer the creaminess of the mouthfeel on the beer is just wonderful it's when i talk about creaminess i'm not talking about the rubbish cream beers of the 1980s and 90s your your cream flows and all that more or less ruined british kind of best bitters back in the day was that cream flow movement smooth that was the word, smooths and cream flows. More or less ruined British beer that did in the 80s and 90s. Um, I'm not talking to that extent, but I'm talking about a natural, multi, slightly medium mouthfeel that just gives a rich smoothness of the beer. You've got the lovely malt over here, the little bit of sweet malt, and then that kind of grapefruit, passion fruit, mango. It's not that bitter. It's not that bitter. It's one of these beers where all the flavours are in the middle. The passion fruit, the mango, the grapefruit, it's all in the middle. There's a little bit of bitterness on the back end, but it's not too crazy. It's not ripping your palate apart. And it's good. It's just really, really good. Brought to you by our good friends at Yakima Chief Hops and Cryer Malt. HBC 630 is a New World Experimental Hop shipped directly to us from the USA, presenting unique characteristics including raspberry, cherry, sweet candy and even hints of creamy peach and banana. That creaminess, maybe it was, a, maybe it was more of a flavour rather than a... Uh, what's that? I think that was just my glass. I don't think it was anything too... Oh, don't worry, it's just a bit of a bit of stalk or something. Something's ended. It, it, it's just a glass, I think. Something from the bottom of the glass. My my cupboard's here in Wales. Something's fallen into it. Yeah, that creaminess I was talking about earlier. Yeah, it is. It has got a creaminess to it, but but it helps to have that kind of, if you like, creamy banana. And creamy peach flavour that, 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 that is is slightly in the beer, I would say, slightly. I like it. Um, 60 IBUs, but I don't think it's as bad. Well, it doesn't seem that bitter. It's, it's, a, it's a nicely balanced beer between the, the sweetness of the malt and the bitterness of the hops. It's nice. It's nice. I like it enough to... And they're based in... Uh, McCarthy Road in Salisbury in Queensland, Australia. My wife is from Salisbury, UK. <laughs> Believe it or not. Thank you, Mick, for the beer. Absolutely wonderful stuff. Gonna rate it. Pardon me, like this beer enough to give it. I think a nine out of ten. Absolutely stonking. Nine out of ten. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.